everyone welcome back I'm Denny and this is my second vlog to my blog Denny's Journey which you can find at dennysjourney.com and in this video I will be talking about my experience with AFA's group exercise certification exam so without any further ado let's go so this is just a disclaimer that this is what I did to pass the exam this is in no way a guarantee that if you do what I did that you will pass I'm just telling you what I did to pass okay great so the very first thing I would do is watch my first video link below and that's because this video I will only be talking about the exam and how it went how many questions etc and in the first video I talk about like course materials what the course covers etc etc so if you haven't done so already I would do that uh, but if you have let's move on to the next thing so after you I'm sure you've watched my first video um, just a quick review of the exam it's a hundred questions all of the questions are multiple choice none of them are fill in the blank so you don't have to type in any terms into a blank or anything like that you just choose from the four multiple choice questions you have an hour to take the exam and take it online and it is proctored by an organization, company, or whatever called ProctorU. So I have the link below about ProctorU, um, but basically what I did was after I purchased the course through AFA, I logged into my AFA account. There is a like link to the course so like the video lectures and then a link to the exam after I clicked the link to the exam after asked me or asked me a few questions and then led me to proctor you proctor use exam web proctor use website and so I made like a, a profile with them and then scheduled my exam when it came time to take the exam it was at 8.45 at night, so I logged in about 8.40, waited till it was 8.45 and they have like a little timer and I clicked the, uh, you know, get started, begin, whatever here. When I did that, I had to have a photo ID and I had my CPR AED first aid certification printed out and they did ask me for that. They asked me for my photo ID. I had to do a 360 of the room and because I asked because I don't mind asking why I had to do that and they said basically to make sure I wasn't cheating that I didn't have like notes or whatever posted up on the wall and I also had to show them like use a mirror to show them my screen like the outside of my screen to make sure I didn't have any post-its or sticky notes or anything like that then I got started so that's pretty much how that will work when you're ready to take the exam so my study timeline i took the exam approximately two months after i purchased the course afa recommends studying about 30 days um, and they have like a breakdown just read these pages view these lectures day one day two i didn't follow that i just um watched all the lectures first then I filled out the study guide and then I took the practice exam which is only 30 questions and at that time I had gotten like 80% which was passing but I was like that's you know that's too close for comfort I could get one wrong and then I fail and then I have to pay to take it over to take the test over again so I knew I had to study a little bit more and so it was after 4th of July that I really um, went back and reviewed things that I didn't understand. I looked online for like blood pressure. That was something I had trouble with and so I watched a YouTube video. I read like other articles just to explain certain terminologies. I know even for the muscles I looked on like YouTube other videos just outside sources to help me understand what I was having trouble understanding. As I stated in my previous video, you have to schedule the exam a week out, and as I stated back then, you can schedule it um, less than a week out, but you just may get charged. I'm not sure exactly how um, far out 
initiates that charge but you can definitely do it if you wanted to take it on Wednesday and it's Monday you can definitely still sign so up. my test strategy I use the same strategy when I was studying for the bar exam it's a hundred questions all the questions all like the little boxes are in white when you click on a question and answer it the, the white box turns gray so for example the first question I remember <laughs> I wasn't sure of the answer and I was like oh no this is not good so I just left it and that's what I proceeded to do with each question that I was not sure about. So that helped me because I never let allowed myself to get stuck on one question and then when I got to the end I was like okay if I get all of these wrong <laughs> I can still pass. And so I went back to those questions and answered them and then I went through the hundred questions again. So I went over the exam twice and I probably after doing it twice I probably had like 10 or 15 minutes left over so an hour is plenty of time so something you may be wondering is what do I need to know I can't tell you exactly what you need to know just because I don't know how they do the test I don't know if like they have a set of questions that they change every day change every week change every month I'm not sure but what I needed to know was the muscles. They have a diagram of the human body and certain muscles from the anterior and the posterior view. Know all of those muscles, so know what they do. I would also say to know terminology. Please know your terminology, because that, I just feel that that is something to know and it will be so easy like you could breeze through the next question if you know what it means even if you know what it doesn't mean because like I said all of the questions are multiple choice some of the topics some of the topics that I didn't spend too much time with were choreography and like I said before I know that it's more intricate than um, some people may think but I used to in chorus, I used to play an instrument, and I kind of just understand music, so reading it in the book and the way they broke it down, it was just, it was just too much. It, was, it didn't help me at all. So I didn't spend my time, because I do have a full-time job, I didn't spend my time focusing on that, and there was a question or two about that, so read it if you... You should read it. You should read everything. Um, but I wouldn't get tripped up on that if you're kind of like me, and like, I don't... I just know, like, the basics. Whatever is in the practice question about choreography, uh, I would know like that subject, if that makes sense. Um, they also ask about special populations. So they ask about pregnant women, they ask about um, youth fitness, they ask about um, senior citizen um, fitness. They touch on like aquatic fitness. So I would kind of know a little bit about those topics as well. So you may be wondering what study materials helped, what helped in my study strategy, what helps you study in order to pass the exam. So for me what helped, um, I had the book and I had the supplemental guide. I think only the book helped. The supplemental guide, if you have to pay extra, I would not pay extra. I just didn't feel that it had extra information in it that the book didn't have. Um, definitely the study guide. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to fill out that study guide and just know it. Like I said, the terms, the muscles, just just know the study guide. But I wouldn't go like, I wouldn't drive yourself crazy by memorizing it. But um, like in your review, if you go through the study guide, you're like, okay, I know this, I know this, I know this. I That's how I was and I passed. I would also say the videos, if there is a topic that you do not understand, I would go back to that video, or review that video a few times, don't watch the video while you're like cooking, washing out, I have birds, so washing out the bird cage, I would not do that. I would sit down and just focus and just listen to what they say on the video. Um, the videos were helpful, but I do feel that sometimes they didn't really go into depth about certain things and so that's when I went to the book and then after I watched the video didn't really get it went to the book still didn't get it that's when I would go to the internet and just because you would google anything also some people like to use flashcards like I said I use the Quizlet app which I guess is like electronic flashcards but I didn't spend the time to write out flashcards I can study just from what I already filled out um, so if you do like flashcards 
have at it. I don't think it's a bad idea, especially with the terminology. So those were some tips and strategies that I did and used that helped me pass AFIS group exercise certification exam. If I left out anything or if you needed any clarification, please feel free to leave a comment, ask a question below. And I'm very responsive. Don't hesitate to ask. I did this video to hopefully help the next person. And if you liked my video, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Denny's Journey. And I also have my own blog, at, which is at Denny'sJourney.com. So I will either post a video or write a blog post and I post every Sunday. So it's usually at night. Um, so feel free to look forward to that every Sunday night after you watch your favorite Sunday night program. I know mine is power. I'm super excited about that tonight. And I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask me and I will see you next week. Bye.